Hello kindergarten, this is Mrs. Stacy from Baker Elementary. Today we're going to be talking again about Reading Workshop. For the last few weeks we've spent time learning about how to become really excellent nonfiction readers. And we've learned that sometimes reading a nonfiction book can actually be kind of tricky. But uh, what I want to show you today is that authors have a way of helping you understand exactly what their story is about. And I'm going to teach you some of those tricks of what we call text features. Inside the book, you can find all kinds of clues to help you become a better nonfiction reader. But to do that, you kind of have to be like a detective and you want to zoom in closely to find those little clues that can help you understand a story a little bit better. So I want you to think, if you're reading a nonfiction story just like this, what can you do to help understand exactly what the author is trying to teach you? The title page tells what this book is about, and the author's name is found at the bottom. The table of contents is at the front of the book, and it lists the important topics you will learn about. Photographs help readers see exactly what something or someone looks like. Captions are words near the picture or photograph that help readers better understand it. The heading explains what this section of the story is about. Bold words help a reader know that this is an important word to learn. A diagram is a labeled picture. The label tells the name of a certain part of the picture. The glossary helps readers understand what words mean. And the index is a list of ideas that are in this book and the page number where you can find them. All of the books that I showed you are from Reading A to Z. So when you're on Raz Kids, go ahead and choose a nonfiction story and see if you can peek inside and find any of those text features or little clues that might help you understand that nonfiction story better. As you're looking, you might start to compare and realize like, oh, this book has a glossary at the end of it and so does this book. Or you might start reading and think, whoa, this picture has labels on it, and in this book, the author also put labels on his pictures. So start taking a closer look at how the author writes his story, and then you can understand what a nonfiction is trying to teach you even better. Kindergarten, keep on reading.